True innovation and the creative genius behind it has always fascinated me. That's what brought me out here and started me on this journey to the edge of the Mojave Desert. I was following a hunch, a feeling that consumed me after I first came across Rock, the largest airplane ever built. I wondered to myself, what the hell is this thing? Who built it and for what purpose? And why wasn't Rock part of the general consciousness in the same way that maybe the Spruce Goose was following World War II? The incredible creation by Howard Hughes must have captivated America at a moment where we were just beginning our ascent. It got me thinking, does innovation lose its luster in the waning years of once proud empires? Or maybe there's more to the story. Perhaps in the day and age of five second attention spans and sensationalist news cycles, some really important stories get lost. The ones that give reason for optimism and hope for the future. Though I had no idea what to expect when I first went searching in the Mojave Desert, what I found was a wonderful tale of innovation, one of never giving up, even when faced with seemingly insurmountable odds. It's a story about pushing the boundaries of what's possible in order to achieve the impossible and push humanity forward. Before there was even any hint of the billionaire space race, it was in an undeveloped corner of the Mojave Desert that one man dared to dream big, and his vision would go on to change the course of aviation forever. This is a story of scaled composites. On October 4th, 2004, in a dried out lake bed in Mojave, California, history was made. This was a moment that Spaceship One claimed the Anzari X Prize. It was a $10 million prize for the first privately built spaceship to go to space twice within two weeks. 26 teams from seven countries are in pursuit of the Ansari X Prize. The Ansari X Prize was a pioneering initiative in the world of private spaceflight. It signaled the beginning of a new era of space exploration, one where private citizens could achieve what only the largest governments were able to do before them. The first ever $10 million prize was won by Skeld Composites and Burt Rutan. It was an event witnessed by hundreds of people, among them government officials, aerospace engineers, reporters, private citizens, and even billionaires. Finally, after years of hard work, Spaceship One blasted off, shooting through the clear yellow blue sky. The crowd was transfixed. In awe by the sight of the reusable spacecraft soaring into the darkness of space. A feat never before accomplished by a private organization. Just minutes later, the spacecraft re-entered the atmosphere, signaling the completion of its journey. The mission was a triumphant success, and as a crowd erupted in cheers and applause, there was a collective realization that they had just witnessed a revolutionary moment in history. The success of Spaceship One showed the world that humanity could accomplish what previously seemed impossible. Private exploration of space was now a feasible goal, and this momentum would lead directly to the development of several commercial ventures aiming to capitalize on the new race to space. Spaceship One's success was a catalyst for the rapid evolution of the private space industry, and continues to be remembered as a pathfinding event that sparked a new wave of innovation and exploration for humankind. It also marked a seminal moment in the history of scaled composites and catapulted Burt Rutan to the status of aerospace legend. Perhaps most importantly, the event would go on to inspire a new generation of aviation engineers who would see scaled as a place where they too might one day make their mark on history. To understand the risk-taking ethos of scaled and their intrepid founder, Burt Rutan, we must go back to a time when calculated risks led to unprecedented levels of innovation. The early days of Edwards Air Force Base were filled with the colorful sights of flight testing, from the thunder of rocket engines to the beauty of transonic jets streaking across the sky. The testing grounds of Edwards were the birthplace of modern aerospace technology. As the base's capabilities grew, the most daring test pilots established ever-accelerating speed records, and their groundbreaking flights pushed the limits of man and machine. From the first supersonic flight, to the dawn of space exploration, Edwards Air Force Base was the site of some of the most significant advancements in aviation history. 
Given the incredible developments happening here, it's no surprise that it would be the perfect environment for someone like Bert Rutan to cut their teeth. After graduating third in his class in 1965 with a bachelor's in aeronautical engineering, Bert took a job at Edwards Air Force Base as a civilian flight test engineer, where he supported flight research for the F-4. The risk-taking and experimental design process would certainly leave their mark on the aerospace pioneer. In 1972, he would leave to join BD Aircraft in Newton, Kansas as a director of development for the BD-5 aircraft before returning to California to set up the Rutan Aircraft Factory. And in 1982, he founded Scale Composites as an aerospace research company. He would take the lessons learned at Edwards and Beatty to create an environment where engineers would be free to take calculated risks and ultimately push the boundaries of what's possible. This was the beginning of what would become an aircraft fantasy factory. In the beginning, Scaled had little in the way of infrastructure or funding, but they were driven by a deep sense of creativity and ambition. They dreamed big, motivated by projects that could push an industry and by consequence, humanity forward. Bert's most important contribution just might be the philosophy which inspired those around him. Scaled's legacy began in 1983 in the Mojave Desert. As construction on Hangar 78 commenced, the team got right to work designing the Starship and Microlite aircraft. And over the next 40 years, even as the world around them would change dramatically, Scaled maintained their founding spirit and appetite for intelligent risk-taking. These deep-rooted values are a big reason they've been able to create such a legacy of bold first over the years. Of course, there was a world's first privately built manned spacecraft to reach space, Spaceship One, which again won the $10 million Ansari X Prize. Then there was Voyager, the first aircraft to circle the world non-stop without refueling, and then the world altitude record-holding Proteus. The Virgin Atlantic Global Flyer would eventually overtake Voyager's record time, becoming the first non-stop solo flight around the world. And most recently, there's Rock, the largest plane ever flown. Scaled has even made their impact felt beyond aerospace, with the GM Ultralight and the Mojave Yacht Club's two catamaran hard sails for the 1988 Stars and Stripes race sailboat. In between were many more fantastic feats, from advanced unmanned aerial vehicles, to the wings and tail fins for the orbital Pegasus rocket, there were other rocket concepts, and a few jets mixed in. An endless stream of innovation. The 367 bipod, a hybrid electric flying car concept, was Bert's final project before he retired in 2011. His personal accolades would include winner of the Presidential Citizens Medal, the Charles A. Lindbergh Award, two Collier trophies, and a spot on Time Magazine's 100 Most Influential People, Rutan helped mold Scaled into the most aggressive aerospace research company in the world. In the process, he and Scaled would both become legends. It's difficult to put a finger on the pulse of what makes Scaled tick. I spoke with someone on the team and she said something about a Scaled vibe. That's probably the best way I could think of describing the place. The idea of Scaled, the people, the creations, the deep sense of purpose. Some of it seems to stand in stark contrast to the world around them almost as if this corner of the Mojave Desert is stuck in a time capsule. It's not that the culture or the people or the work are dated, but the techniques, processes, and values were simply so far ahead of their time that it's enabled them to stay so authentically true to themselves. And the timeless values are why Scaled remains a place for the pioneers, the makers, the ones who to this day share Bert's excitement for pushing the boundaries of what's possible. <laughs>